what are you saying? If Kent Hughes, you're Ken Holland, the mm -hmm. font size on your phone is 36, nice. and you get the text from Kent Hughes that says, I want or go JP in a second rounder. What do you say back? LMFAO, send. <laughs> He's not better than Brett Kulak, and the Oilers paid less for that. Yeah, Lagason in a second round pick, it was for Kulak. Yeah, like he's yeah. he's not as good. Now you want to give up your best prospect in Bakersfield for that guy? Borgo scored two last night, I think. Yeah, and Pugliarvi? I don't know. Well, and I, and I, another year? The, well, yeah, the Pugliarvi value we can argue about. But I, I would I would do the trade without Bar Borgo. Uh, yeah. Because Edmondson <laughs> brings something our blue line doesn't have. Maybe, like, but that offer is he's way mean? too high. Well, I'm not saying put. I'd say remove right. Borgo. I would do a second in Pooley RV in a heartbeat for Joel Edmondson. He has one more year on his deal, three point five mil. So, what's his next deal? Not going to be that much. No, but what I'm saying leadership, is leadership. Former I, Moose Jaw Warrior, I might add. Oh well, here there's the bias. <laughs> like no shit. Uh, uh, I I I wouldn't acquire a guy with term. One year left is term. I would want a pure rental. To me, if you're gonna the left side of your blue line, has he brings identity to our blue line. Right now, people can just skate across the blue line with their head down, do whatever the hell they want, and somehow a, a high danger scoring opportunity just seems to just open up and be created. But if you need a rough and tumble mean D man, then just call up Marcus Nima line and play the seven defenseman and use that strategy. But like, can... has he? But has he been that this year? He in every chance, like the odd hits. time, he hits. Yeah. But like. Like he's not the Nima line in of last year where he had like six games and like he had like 10 explosions. Hits, yeah. Like that's not happening. So like maybe that's not sustainable in, in Nima Linen's game. But just even just the net front, like Nima Linen's still a toothpick. Like he's young and he's light. Like Evanson's got that old man strength. Like I'm not I'm not like sitting here saying you have to do it, but like that archetype of player is something that we are missing, especially in 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 in, in our own zone. Like you need to have that threat. You need you need that sandpaper. You need that that grit. You need that physicality, and we don't have it. And right now, sometimes we look like pylons. 